Hi everybody, it's Tammy, and I am here with a haul that I wanted to share with you. I have stuff from the warehouse sale at Scrapbooking Made Simple um, that I ordered back in April, and I received it a few weeks ago, but it was expected to take a really, really, really long time, but you get great deals if you order from her warehouse sale. I also have a Lollipalooza, a small order from her shop. I have some new recipe stamps from Adornit from the Recipe Stamp Club. And I have a Spectrumark Creations Maddie and Madison store. I have some products that I ordered from them. So, oh, and a cherry on top. Um, so I'll start out with the cherry on top and just a quick little um, project show here. This is the one of the Kathy Holden dies um, to make the um, oh what are they called Christmas vintage card bowls and oh, what I do with the dies here let me show them I think I showed them in a video when I first received them because um, I was so excited to get them yeah they're the deep etch dies from Spellbinders um, in in collaboration with Kathy Holden. So the one I used for this bowl is this, um, this shape here with the square for the bottom. And anyways, so this is my little prototype. This is the first, first attempt. And I learned some things. Um, one thing being I was watching videos and I believe I watched one of the um, uh, Spellbinder teachers she was doing a video using these dies and she talked about um, using the DMC Petra crochet thread and she specifically said size 5 seemed to work well so I started looking um, online for size 5 this Petra here and <clears throat> at, well first I looked at my stash and I didn't see that I had the, the Petra. I had um, other crochet threads but not not this brand. So um, I looked around online and I'm not sure why but it was hard to find this stuff. And, um, you know, where, like, um, I tried to do Joanne's curbside or Michael's curbside, and it was all you had to order it online, you know. So no stores, like, had the, the thread just to go in and buy, near me anyway. So um, a cherry on top, when I order from them, they ship. I, I get it almost the next day because they're close to me. Um, so I went on their website, and because they do have a great needle, um, needle work area on their website. They, they've got lots of nice products. And they had some colors in the size 5 and they also had some size 3's which I ordered as well. But, um, so long story short here, I did get some of the Petra. I haven't tried using it yet, but I can tell um, and this one I actually found in my stash <laughs> after I got the the bag from a cherry on top um, as I was going through all of my crochet things in my um, project bag uh, where I keep like my needles and everything this popped out and I'm like oh my goodness I didn't know I had this but I remember I bought this from a crafty store um, when I go on my girls crafty weekends up north it's a store we all love to go in that the store has everything imaginable and I bought this there and I bought it because I was going to do tatting and um, yeah I haven't tried that yet but that's what I bought this for but anyways um, when I did this little bowl I used um, just plain crochet cotton thread um, don't even know what brand it was it was not DMC or even the you know the Petra um, and so it's a little bit, to me, it's kind of flimsy, not horribly flimsy. Um, I think I could have probably done my stitches tighter when I joined each panel. Um, but this was my learning, you know, project here. And uh, I, I 
compared this thread to the DMC Petra and there's a huge difference. Number one, the shine, the shimmer that this thread has, um, how it looks, just how it looks as a, a thread. And I don't know, let's see, the, um, the rolled or that, what would you call that? Just the thread, how the appearance of the thread is so much nicer than what I used. And I think this is larger too. So <clears throat> that will make a difference, um, you know. But I, I'm, I don't hate this this one. I like it. I The paper I used I think is super cute. Um, it was that Candy Christmas from Craft Consortium. And I think I'm going to make a few more, you know, using that collection. But I'm going to use the threads, um, the DMC Petra, specifically in the size 5. Um, as, and I can't remember her name. She's very informative. I think it was under Spellbinders, the video that I watched. And if you just um, search, you know, Kathy Holden of Spellbinders, Deep Etched Eyes, you'll find, probably find the video that I watched. But anyways, um, I just wanted to share that. I've gotten one done, and this is, you know, <laughs> this is the, the one I will keep as kind of my, my learning piece and kind of what not to do. Um, it is fun to hold a crochet hook again. I've been away from crochet for probably about five or six years. I haven't done anything um, to speak of. I may have done some little flowers for embellishments, you know, on stuff, but um, I've missed my crochet hooks and just everything that goes with it. So it was fun to get, get all of the stuff out. But so I just wanted to show you that and um, you know, the, the great haul from a cherry on top. It came through for me having the, the Petra in stock. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this stuff back in here. In the bag. Oh, and I also found some new um, tapestry needles for cross stitch. They had these, they have a great selection of all of that kind of stuff. So, as I'm bending down, my earbud fell out. Let me get that back. Okay, all right, I think I'm ready. <laughs> so, um, that was a cherry on top. And then the next items, oh, I got my new Adornit Recipe Stamp Club stamps. This is the Christmas Cheer recipe. And then here are the add-on stamps. Oh, this is so cute. The little gingerbread in the stocking. I can't wait to use these. So I was excited to get those. And then <clears throat> I was watching, I watch Lolly Palooza's videos a lot. Um, I love her style. I love the cute things that she makes. And she was talking about altered paper clips in one of the videos. And she was referring to these things called paper clip blanks. And oh my gosh. When, uh, and these are available on her website. And they are a game changer if you like to do altered paper clips. And you want to make sure your paper clip is firmly attached to your whatever your embellishment is going to be. So you can see how I just clicked this paper clip up in this little plastic area here and you push it in there until you hear the click. That will not come out. There's no way your embellishment is coming off your paper clip. So for planners and you know the things that were always moving around um, that you want to be pretty durable your, your embellished paper clips, these are a game changer. So I ordered two sets from Lolly's website. Um, they were a great price. And I'm gonna leave a link um, in the description box for Lolly's website because um, I think if you alter paper clips, these are something that you need. They'll make your life easier. And she also included a pretty little ink pen with her name on it. And then a cute little llama sticker. <laughs> thought that was so sweet. And then I love on her business cards, she puts craft exploration under her name. And that's so cool. I just think that's adorable. So 
I got those and then I also found while I was shopping on her site these little dies from Doodlebug Design. And these are the borders and edges and I love every single one here. So I'll be using those a lot. And then I also found these nesting dies and I don't know if you can see, it's little cross stitches going around the borders of these squares. So I loved those. And that's from a company, I don't have any of their dies, Uniquely Creative. So I'm excited to try these. And then she also had the Thinlets, the Tim Holtz, the um, cookies. And I didn't have this one, so I got that. There's lots of dies in there. And it's called Fresh Baked. So excited to get that. And then let's see. Oh, I have my scrapbooking made simple. The warehouse sale um, from April. I just received my order um, probably a couple of weeks ago now. And they tell you when you order, before you order, that it's going to take a very long time. They can't give you an estimate. They just say a very long time. So I had been, you know, told um, about how great the warehouse sale is by my crafty friends, but also to not order anything that you need right away because you're going to be waiting a long time. So I ordered, like I said, it was April and received it mid-October. So I'm glad I ordered what I ordered because you guys, I have so many cute little things in here to do Christmas projects with. So first off, look at this cute little ginger from Penny Black and it's called Ginger Treat. He's just adorable. Can't wait to use him on stuff. Very nice little stamp. And then look at how teeny tiny this little tag is. And I think it was called Really Really Tiny Tag. <laughs> so I got that. And then look at, this is a little really really oh let's see really really tiny cup <laughs> these are little dies and they're from memory box so i got some cute little dies and the prices are amazing so that's a cute little bunny i mean the prices i dare say they had some stuff that was under a dollar <clears throat> i think most of the things that i bought were a dollar to probably I might have paid like five dollars for the big stamps that I bought and the big die set There's a little bunny head but most things were one dollar two dollars and three dollars so here's one of the stamp sets this is called frosted Christmas die set and this goes to this stamp set so I think this was the most expensive thing and I like I said I think they were one might have been three and one might have been five but still a wonderful deal so super cute there and then here is a stamp from Carabelle Studio this distressed checker checkerboard it's like ATC size very nice and then I thought these were so cute these are called gingerbread chicks <laughs> and this is the regular price so this was probably if I remember right two dollars maybe maybe three cute so cute looks like he's got gingerbread in his little hand and he's got the frosting and then she's got the candy and then this is from Couture Creations it's a die and look how pretty that is just love that and then here's an embossing folder from Creative Expressions, Candy Burst, all the peppermint candies. So cute. And then some dark room door rubber stamps and all these Christmas sentiments. It's called Merry Christmas. These are the red rubber. Super good. Good purchase there. And then this one, again from Dark Room Door, the rubber stamps. And these are simple sayings. And you know, for card makers, these are perfect. These have every, everything we need, every sentiment. So that is from Scrapbooking Made Simple, the warehouse sale. 
And then I have some things from Maddie and Madison at Spectrum Art Creations. I was able to catch one of their Saturday sales on YouTube. And let's see, let's start with this stuff. So I got two of the Cosmic Shimmer Flake and Glitter Glues. Two of those. And then I got some more of the puffy, well no, what's it called? Fluffy stuff. I think I've been calling it puffy stuff. Um, by Cosmic Shimmer. And I got the Frosted, or no, French Lilac, Frosty Sage, and Sweet Caramel. And these will be fun to use for my paper crafting, baking <laughs> projects that I'm doing. And then she had these products from Stemperia, the Arctic Ice and the Arctic Snow. I got both of those. Pretty. Those are going to be fun to use. And then I got several of the flocking, the flock with glitter, it's called, from Pink and Main. And I just got several colors, Sparkling Overcast and Sparkling Cashmere. Those are those colors. I thought this would be pretty for the gingerbread baking type stuff. Here is Sparkling Cotton Candy. It's a pretty pink. Here is, what is this? Sparkling Grandpa Slippers. That's the Sparkling Black. <clears throat> and flocking, if you don't know what it is, um, the old vintage birthday cards and Christmas cards, a lot of them had flocking on them. And um, it's a textured, um, it's hard to describe, sparkling Santa's hat, which is red. If you just remember, you would rub your finger over it on the card and it would have like a, almost a fuzzy type feel to it. But that's what this stuff will do. And this is called sparkling teddy bear and it's a really pretty sparkling brown that'll be perfect for gingerbread stuff as well and then I got this cute rice paper I just loved what that looked like it looks like someplace you'd go on vacation like a ski chalet place I don't know that's what it reminded me of and then here's the blue fern studio she had some of the Christmas cheer um, that she was selling and I do have this one I love it so I got another one so I'll have enough in my stash so okay I think that is it I'll be back to show you some eBay um, purchases that I've made recently with gingerbread stuff so I'll talk to you later thank you for watching bye bye